afternoon good evening wherever you are it's a brilliant day and I trust you well and in good health and you're prospering just as your soul prospers it is another episode of redeemed and I'm so thrilled to be in your space once again have you ever wanted to do something so bad but you just don't get to do it you push it to the next hour the next day the next month and then the next thing is the next decade and then the next thing is the next century or next lifetime today i'm joined by an amazing outstanding award-winning author he is a motivational speaker he is a corporate strategist you know i i needed to get all these these words properly in check because they are new words to me but i know what he does but just the naming of it hey so he's a corporate strategist and he's an entrepreneur he has written many books. I know uh, Made Protocol and I know um, my favorite, Exit Your Excuses. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Kosh Taf. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> it's a pleasure I'm having excited. you. excited. It's intimidating to have someone who speaks <laughs> How come? so well. No. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sitting in here, my space. I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm saying to myself, man, why am I a candidate for redemption? I mean, we are <laughs> You need to be redeemed, Come on. child. Yes, please. I receive, Pastor. I receive. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much My for pleasure. coming. Yeah. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have people who see things differently like yeah. we do and we learn from them. Yeah. And that is one of the things we believed here at Redeemed uh, sets us free. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, Coach Taf, your full name is? My full name is Tafad Zgwa. That's what the name my mom gave me. My mm. dad gave me Kenneth. That was his dad's name. Oh. So I, have, I carry my, my grandfather's name, okay. and my surname is Mukoi. So okay. Tafazgwa Kenneth Mukoi. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, that's great. So, 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 Coach Taf and Direk Ujipa is the name you know. You know, I always think I need to have Kamakao Zita also. So, I, please, it's a homework. <laughs> you need to look for, for a, a name for me, like All right. Jan Jan. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one's taken already. But anyway, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I was talking about procrastination right. in my introduction. Mm. And I was saying, um, sometimes we, we push things. We're like, no, I'm going to do it the next minute. And then it moves to, no, I'll do it next month. Or no, you know what? I'm going to start going to the gym in July. You know? And then it's now next year. And, and then next year, and I'm saying, ah, you know, when I have my next lifetime, <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... Absolutely. I'm going to do it differently. Yeah. So why, why do we procrastinate? Is it human nature? Is it just, is it just within us to do that? Uh, you know, when you say human nature, it, it almost stops me right in my tracks because, you know, yeah. in, in, there's so many things that human beings can and cannot do, but it's really a decision. That's Ultimately, true. you know, uh, one thing uh, you were talking about, the Bible verse you, you spoke about earlier on. For me, my, my, I don't even know how to explain it, but the most difficult thing when it comes to procrastination is my view that I'm actually letting God down. You see, I'm, I'm so equipped as, as everybody else is, mm -hmm. so equipped to achieve the things that we so desire. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Bible actually says it gives us the desires of our hearts, mm -hmm. and which means mm -hmm. we are the people who stop ourselves from achieving the things that we want wow. to achieve. Wow. So the first thing is people do not have sufficient faith in the provision of God to do the things that they want to do. And for that reason, they'll say they're going to put things off for a season. The other reason is people live in people's shadows, mm -hmm. uh, people's expectations. So I'm not going to do it because what is John going to say, Janet mm -hmm. going to say, not you, Janet, but the other Janet. <laughs> um, and, and also just the, 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 the fear of self or self-limiting beliefs. Will I be able to execute it at the level at which I intended to, mm -hmm. to execute? Mm -hmm. So there are many reasons why people uh, yeah. would, would procrastinate. And, 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 and what is important in my line of work is that it's really aligned with your personality. It's really aligned with your values as well. Mm. And also, you know, it's sad to note but that not many people actually know their purpose in life. And so if you knew what your purpose was, mm -hmm. there's absolutely no reason you wouldn't do what you're supposed to do. Wow. And so mm -hmm. there's that confusion, there's that uh, challenge that people don't know. If, if I knew that I knew in my know 
that <laughs> if I don't do this, it's going to affect my purpose, the reason why I'm on earth. I would, I would do everything I can wow. to, to, to do it. Because it's going to so be life-defining. Because hey? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking right now as you're speaking that maybe, because you're, you're chasing a lot of things in your life, you don't really yet know what your purpose is. You're doing that, you're doing that. Then you're, you're just put holding off something else so that you do something else. Because you're not really sure what you're supposed to be doing, right? Yeah, sometimes. But you know what? Um, they, we've got so many indicators that tell us that we're doing the right thing. Mm. We have a witness that is inside of us that says, mm. you know, I want to do this. They, we yeah. also have this thing called, in, in many instances, regret. You should say, I wish I wish I'd done I that. Wish I'd done that. I, I, wh why didn't I do that? All of these things, just that we don't take enough time to listen to our life's indicators, to our mm. life's triggers mm. that remind us about the course that we must follow. And you know what? Here's the, here's the amazing thing. I, I think that we are... Um, I've said it earlier, we are over-equipped to do multiple things. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, look at you. Here's an amazing program. Uh, and and it, some people would like to box you as an accountant. Some would like to <laughs> box you as a, as a singer, as a, singer. As, as yeah. a performer. Yeah. But you're more than that. You're a mom, you're a wife, you're a friend, you're a sister. Mm. And so when each opportunity presents itself to you, my belief is that you're ready to execute on it. You're ready to, to serve in that capacity mm. and so don't don't ex excuse yourself from opportunities that come your way mm. there's no reason why opportunities will come your way if you're not equipped to take them on oh wow wow ladies and gentlemen let me take a breather there <laughs> Coach Tough to me and many other people. <laughs> Coach Tough. So when we before we went for the break, yeah. we were talking about procrastination, and I would then say that's one of the biggest attributes that make people not reach their potential. Right? Mm. Am I right or am I right? You're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> because procrastination is basically delaying doing the things that you're supposed and to that do. You're supposed so to there's be no doing. way you're going to succeed unless you do what you're supposed to do. Exactly. Or in, in other words, I'm, my next book, actually, I didn't tell you about this, mm. is The Freedom to Fail. And, and I believe that you need to fail oh, fast. Before you, you even go there, why do you give your books such titles <laughs> that, that make us so, feel so guilty? And I'm like... I failed because I gave myself the freedom to fail. That's your fact. You must have the freedom to fail. You must fail fast, f fail early, so uh -huh. that you can. Because what failure is 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 feedback. It's not fatal, and so oh, yeah. the, the the reason why procrastination stops people from succeeding is the number one reason is fear of failure, and 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 and, and I'm Definitely. I advocate for people to fail, mm. fail, get the feedback, and start all over again, and so once you've done that. Then you'll succeed. The, first, the, you see the two levels of success, Janet. Mm. Number one is the outcome, the desired outcome. Have you reached it? Mm. But there's even greater success in the process. Mm. Is that what what got you here, and and the process that you went through, man? That makes you a success. Wow. So, um, in your uh, job as a life coach. Yeah. How do you do this? Maybe there's someone out there who, who really feels, you know what, I'm feeling so... Dis they're just disgruntled with their own life, not even passionate, not motivated. What is your role as a life coach? So many people don't um, um, know how to spell TAF for Coach TAF. Mm -hmm. Many think it's T-A-F. It's actually T-O-U-G-H. Because oh. I'm tough. <laughs> so the, I didn't know that. <laughs> now no. I'm playing. It's Revelation TAF. <laughs> has come to this house. But, but my role is to partner with, 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 uh, with my clients mm. to achieving their goals. The reason why I partner with them is because left to themselves, they wouldn't do it anyway. Mm. And I'm not going to allow them to, to fail. I'm there to make sure that they succeed. I'm going to hold them to account. I'm going to make sure that they're, they're, there's clarity in terms of their responsibility. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I do it in terms of multiple, there are multiple ways I coach. 
Uh, my most expensive one is one on one because it's time. Um, but I also so like I need to pay you for the food. Hey girl, this is expensive time. <laughs> Um, and, and, and also, I, I run a number of workshops. I also do uh, a number of, of programs. But if, if, you, if you look at my book, Exit Your Excuses, it's, mm -hmm. it's I have it here. Oh, fantastic. You know, yeah. the, the plan was, yeah. when I would say, my favorite is Exit Your Excuses, <laughs> then I'll show everyone the Exit Your Excuses. But guys, this one. So, 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 so that book, when I wrote mm -hmm. that book, I, I, I knew very well what I was doing. I, I, I was setting myself up for, for, for this coaching business. Okay. And in it are coaching questions. And so there are five coaching questions in mm. 18 of the 24 chapters. Mm. And so the whole point is that I ask you the difficult questions and say, uh, and those, the reason I ask those difficult questions is because I use the power of reflective thinking to then make you then prepare yourselves for the future. What is coaching? Coaching is basically understanding where you are right now mm -hmm. and looking into the future that you desire. And I'm going to take you there faster. Wow. That's what we do. Because most of the times, confirm, we've got no one asking us those questions. We don't like being held to account because it, it talks about the, the things that we are not doing. Yet being held to account is the most empowering thing ever. Mm. You know, I could come here. I mean, I've already said it to you. I've said my next book is called Freedom to Fail. Freedom to fail. And you can hold me to account and say, Coach, we yeah, heard yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Where is yeah, that book? Yeah. And I've got to work. And, uh, give us the, the timeline. Oh, there when? we go. In the next six six months, it'll okay. be out. In the All next right. six months, it'll be out. But don't hold me to account for my album. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to come there. And, 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 and so once we do that, we are then able to achieve the things that we need to achieve. Mm. But you had asked another question earlier on. Mm. You had said, is it just procrastination? Procrastination is right at the top. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is focus. People are not sufficiently focused on achieving the things that they want to do. Mm -hmm. And, and I've, got a, I've got a statement, I love saying this statement. Mm -hmm. I say that if you want to succeed, you've got to contend with your current self and be stingy with your focus. And, and that's, 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 that's the answer right there, is that when you contend with yourself, when you say, I want to sleep, that's contending with yourself. Mm -hmm. And you say, no, I ain't sleeping. I'm going to go and do the things that I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. when, 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 when you say, I'm going to do it later, you say, no, I'm actually going to do five more. You're contending with yourself. You're fighting with everything that is human that says, don't do it. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're going to the next level. And being stingy with your focus is that you stop everything else. And then you focus on that one thing that you're supposed to do. That is going to make you a success. Wow. I'm actually enjoying this. <laughs> I think I'm going to make this interview one hour so that in that hour I will have already done my, my coaching session with, with Coach Tuff Very here. Smart. Thank you so much. Um, Coach Tuff, just because you're unredeemed. Yes. Are you redeemed? I am redeemed. <laughs> and I think, I think the fact that I came is uh, you, you knew I needed redemption, so I'm redeemed. I'm redeemed. What does redemption mean to you? You know, I think that the, the, the term redemption for me, I know I'm not going to be too biblical about this, mm -hmm. is that we've all fallen short of his glory. Mm -hmm. and, and they needed greater love for us to be removed from the things that we deserve. Mm -hmm. And when I look at my life, my failures, my challenges, my sins, and you ask, am I redeemed? I am so redeemed because of Christ, mm -hmm. who in spite of what happened to me in terms of my, my past, my, my grandfather, my dad, mm -hmm. my, my, my ancestors, mm -hmm that bloodline and the things that were supposed to come and attack and withhold me from the blessings that I ought to have, have been removed because of, of Jesus' redemption. Mm. And, and more than that, the very sin that I, I, I committed just before I came onto this program has been removed. And the, my most powerful um, life verse is that his callings are without repentance. Mm -hmm. Man, it means that the Lord will use me no matter what. Yeah. And, and that for me is exciting, that I'm called to glorify God and to edify others. Mm. And there couldn't be any greater redemption than that. Wow. We'll be right back. Welcome back and you're still watching Redeemed. Fear not, God has redeemed you, he has called you by name and he loves you. 
My name is Janet Manyoa and it is my pleasure to be your host once again. I'm still joined here by Coach Tuff. Yes, the conversation is amazing and we're going on. And uh, earlier on, on the break, you were telling me that you're going to India. Yes, I'm going for, to India. Um, for an award ceremony. Yeah. yeah. So in the next few days, I leave for India. I get to re uh, receive my second award in the past three months. Oh, uh, within wow. three months, I'm super excited. I am going to be one of the 100 top coaching leaders in the world. And so that's really cool. It's really exciting. So such a such an honor having such people here with us. And you know what? The one thing that uh, gives me so much joy is you're a believer. You're a Christian. And sometimes we think that, oh, Christians, we are the ones who are supposed to be down there, not getting any awards. We just, you know. But knowing that you're a Christian and you're doing wonders, and with the gift that God has given you, He's opening such doors. Wow. So that's scary for me. You, you, you've used the right word right there. Uh, my belief is very simple. If I don't use my gifts, if you go in the Bible, it talks about it, is that mm. you see, the, 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 the word of God will not return to Him void until mm -hmm. it is accomplished that mm -hmm. it's supposed to accomplish. Mm -hmm. If I have been given an assignment, and mm -hmm. if I don't do it, it means that the Lord is going to take that and give it to Janet or to Munya exactly. or to John. Exactly. And I'm not going to allow that to happen. In actual fact, I want Janet's and John's so that I can have more. Wow. And so I think that believers, we just need to recognize that we've got a phenomenal role to play in this world. Exactly. People are looking for the things that we carry. Mm -hmm. we, we, we carry an anointing that is unprecedented. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Wow. And, and, and I believe it for myself. I don't have to have other people tell me. And you know what? It doesn't matter where you are in that domain that you are in. If you're cleaning, clean very well. Exactly. You know, and, and, and so for me, it's, it's amazing. Fortunately, I know what my purpose is. So I'm hitting it hard and wishing it well. Wow. Yeah. That's so great. Okay. Uh, just because you're on Redeemed, mm. again, mm. you know, I'm a musician. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So what do musicians do? <laughs> well, musicians, um, normally, uh, they sing lullabies, so I think I'm about to go. <laughs> <laughs> Musicians okay. sing. So, Coach Tav, yes. which song connects you to God always? So, there are many songs. Uh, I must say, I grew up uh, a Methodist. Okay. And um, there's one song, Janet, that uh, both makes me excited and makes me feel like crying. Mm. Um, you know, my dad died when I was... When I was 12, from the firstborn, my younger sister, Mazrita, was seven months old. Mm. And, and um, we were excommunicated from our family because of a, of a house. Um, um, and so there wasn't any relationship going forward. Mm. And, and so growing up, I almost had this script that I would never amount to anything in my life. And, and the one song that always connected me uh, to God and to this day pushes me is that song that says... Um, Musandi Fure Jesu. That song it, it is my favorite song. I know Aww. of the three of us, I'm the worst singer, mm. but my two sisters uh, now allow me to sing that song because they recognize that's the one I love. Aww. Can we just sing that for a minute? <laughs> Together with you. Okay, scary. Are you sure? Musandi <laughs> Fure Wangu di noche ma ini muka komborera bahawana Janet mu sandi fu the God of the chorus mambo je Jesu Jesu te. Tenzi wangu do chemera i mi mambo muka komborera wa wamwe wangu sandi fu. Wow, I love that song, and you just reminded me. Makes me want to cry. That song, it's, it's a beautiful song. Yeah. And um, there will always be so much power in these hymns. So yeah. much power. Yeah. Wow. We'll be right back. You're watching Redeemed. Mambo you made yeah. me sing. Man. <laughs> Mm. 
So welcome, you are watching Redeemed and I'm still here with Coach Tuff and uh, we're having a good time. The conversation has been absolutely amazing. I think I need to pay my life coach fees today because I, I just had a great time. Um, so Coach Tuff, yes, I just made you sing. Yes, you did. Yes. So Almost made me cry as well. I'm, I'm going to make you sing again <laughs> in this game that we're going to do. Okay. So I'm going to say a name or okay. a word. And then you give me the first song that comes to mind. First song that comes to mind. Mm. Okay. A redeemed or non-redeemed okay. song. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not a pastor, I'm a coach. I, mean, I need to be very clear. I may be redeemed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, comrade. Comrade. <laughs> Mason Munangagu. Um, President. Chawia. President. <laughs> Dara Chawia. That's the first song that Dara comes to Chawia. mind. Dara Chawia. Okay. Um, Donald Trump. It's a brand new world. It's a brand new world. You know that song? I don't know how to sing, but okay. it's a brand new world. Okay. I mean, if we can have a president like Donald Trump, man, it's a brand new world. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Kirsty Conventry. I believe I can fly. Mm -hmm. um, Pastor Tom Duchel. We receive you. In the name of the Lord. That's the what comes to mind. <laughs> nice. Um, Barack Obama. I, I believe you can fly. Comes back again. I believe I can fly. I'll kill you. Okay. Yeah, it comes back again. Okay. It's almost like Kirsty Coventry and Barack Obama, same song. Mm -hmm. Same song. Nelson Mandela. Freedom is coming <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Wow, that, that's, that's amazing. You know what? I picked that name on purpose because when I had another interview with my previous guest, they sang exactly they sing the, the same, same song. song. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's really good to know. Um, Jesus. Maganaka Jesus. Maganaka Jesus. That one was, was quite easy. Janet Manyo. Zadzisa. I mean, seriously. Zadzisa easy carries question. me. I do many of my trips out of town. Um, you know, it's, it's that song that says, you know, God, you promised. Mm -hmm. And, 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 ah, ah, Zadzisa. So Zadzisa. Oh, Janet wow. Manyo is Zadzisa oh, wow. for me. All right, wow. Is there any other song? <laughs> Coach Tough. <laughs> okay. Uh, get ready for this one. Yeah. Mobutu Sese Seko. Absolutely no song. No song. No song. Dead silence. Dead silence. Mm. Nothing. Nothing. Zimbabwe. Um, that song by Oliver Mtukudze and Bonnie Duchel. Oh. Yeah. And building and people, building the, dreams for that you. That one as well as the Victor uh, Olonga song. Those two. Henry Olonga oh, song. Oh, it's oh, Victor's the okay. older brother. Okay, Henry. Mm. There we go. What what's what's the name of the song by the way? Um. Uh, guys, we... and, oh man, Zimbabwe, yes. there's, there's so many songs for Zimbabwe. Yes, there's another yes. DJ stuff or song. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, man, I don't know how to sing. See, that's the thing. I, I'm not a singer, I'm a speaker. I, okay. I know. Okay, so and then the last one, yeah, Jacob Zuma. She knew him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's been a blast with me here, Janet Manyoa and Coach Tuff. Coach Tuff, thank you for coming. What an honor. Thank you so it much. It has been so amazing to have you here. Yes. And uh, I'm going to exit my excuses. Excuse and please exit your excuses. If you need someone to push you to the next level, then you need to give Coach Tuff a call. He's available on social media. Yeah. I am. Everywhere. Oh, Everywhere. Twitter, Inst I've never seen an Instagram picture. I am actually on Instagram. But my daughter taught me being this. on Instagram I, I, and using Instagram I, at, at least three times a week. No, that, that, that's that's cool. That's pretty cool for a forty-year-old. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, and Facebook, yeah. Yes, the photo of Kenneth and Coy. And website. Uh, www.coachtuff.com. You know, you say www. It's www. Didn't I say three times? You said twice. Because it's like uh, breakfast, uh, <laughs> lunch, supper, W's, or okay. in the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. okay, um, um, okay, please repeat it. I just... <laughs> www. That's three. Yes. Dot 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 tab, dot com. Dot com. Yeah. Wow. And uh, you'll get his contact numbers there and his... Everything there. The books and where people can get the books, yes. right? Uh, that will be... 
available for you if you get in touch with him. I have been your host, Janet Manyowa, and you have been watching Redeemed. And stay focused and exit your excuses. Till next time, God bless you.